Christine Romans, why is smart the new rich for millennials? Why can't they be both? Well, right now they are smart. They're the most educated generation in American history, but they're not rich. They've got an awful lot of student loan debt, and they're having I'm, only 36% of them are making $45,000 a year or more. So, you know, they're not rich yet, but they are smart. So they need to use the time they have now, take some risks, make the right moves, and they can be prosperous and grow their wealth. But they got to start doing it right now. What should they know before going into college that will <laughs> save them after? Um, everything. I mean, the most important financial decisions they're making when they're 17 years old. That's why their parents have got to be there pushing them the right way. they got to go to the right school. And by the right school, I don't mean an expensive, fancy school. I mean a state school. If you can't afford to go to a big name, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year school, you shouldn't go there with all that. You just shouldn't. Um, they've got to graduate in four years. Only 39% are graduating in four years. To me, that's like, that's a mathematical crime. If you're borrowing money to go to school to get a degree, and you're taking longer than four years, unless you're an engineering major, it's crazy, you're wasting your money. Well, talk about engineering. You talk a lot about a STEM education yeah. in the book. Tell me why STEM is so important. Because the job growth is there, that's where the energy is in the economy, that's where there are hiring wars for top talent, even top talent out of school. A, an engineering student is gonna get $68,000, $62 to $68,000 starting off, and they're looking for this, they're looking for this talent. Even, but not everybody can be an engineer. I probably couldn't have been an engineer. I was good at math, but I probably couldn't have been an engineer. So if you can f use your skills in those industries or around those industries, that works too. You have to be aware of the STEM revolution. And what about after they graduate? Millennials are expected to pay off their student loans, <laughs> start their lives, as well as safer retirement, what's the best way they can approach that conundrum? Well, they're delaying home ownership, and that's probably a smart thing for them to do right now. Rents, though, are going up, so at some point they need to start thinking about whether they're going to buy a home. I think the most lucrative thing they can do first, right away, if you've got a lot of student debt, is you got to live at home because you got to keep the, the, the outflow as low as you can, pay the student loans as much as you can, but they need to be investing right away. And here's the little trick. If you have student loan debt and you're investing in a 401k or a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA, it it actually will lower, if you're in one of the repayment programs, it will lower your monthly student loan bill. So that's something you can be investing in your future and paying off your student loans at the same time. Should they get an advisor or do their own investing? I know you said rely on your parents for the college decision. Yeah. Should they get their parents' financial advisor as well? Or should they say, I can do this on my own and save some money? It's been interesting because a lot of them want to do it on their own, but most of them just feel as though there's this big barrier, um, and all the studies show it. They want to save, they don't want to invest, they don't trust Wall Street, they don't trust their parents and financial advisors because look, their parents got screwed during the recession, right? They don't trust home ownership, they're getting married later, they want to be on their own, they want to be flexible, they want to be moved to different cities, and they have a lot of demands out of their jobs and careers, what they want. So I don't think the way that we grew up doing it is necessarily the way that they want to emulate, and that's the challenge for financial advisors in the financial industry. How do you woo that crew they have a 40-year earning horizon ahead of them. Whoever they are loyal to, they could be loyal to for life, but they're afraid of Wall Street, and that's a really interesting uh, a problem to have. All right. Thanks a lot, Christine. You're welcome. And thank you for watching The Street.